This was a unique venue for this match, Megatland, home of Muir Rugby Club, as the pitch at Murrayfield was being rested ahead of the forthcoming Scotland-France encounter. Osprey's Welsh internationals Justin Tipperick and Dan Bigger returned to the side for the game. It was Edinburgh's first home match since the 11th of January. They lost their last three Rabo Direct Pro 12 games and Alan Solomons made four changes with Ross Ford, Jeff Cross, Harry Leonard and Sam Beard all starting. Ospreys were quickly out of the blocks and they got the first score of the game in the sixth minute. And a really well worked effort it was. A lovely passing move from left to right ended with Jeff Hassler getting in for the try after a marvellous offload from Tipperick. A fifth try of the season for the Canadian international and one of the best to date. And even though Bigger missed the conversion, they were 5-0 up and had made almost the perfect start. But Edinburgh eventually worked themselves into the game and in the 12th minute, with the pack driving towards the line in a very controlled manner, scrum half Grayson Hart was directing operations. He picked up and nipped over for an equalising score, his invention almost catching out the cameraman as well as the Ospreys' defence. The scrum half from Auckland showing excellent awareness. Carl Bezadenhout converted to edge the Scots into a 7-5 lead. On 16 minutes, Bezadenhout fired a long-range penalty over to stretch the home side's lead to 10 points to 5. On 25 minutes, the home side went into overdrive. First, great work from Jack Cuthbert to break the line and get away before finding Beard, making his first start for Edinburgh, and he just managed to stay upright to get over. A nice moment for the man who joined from Bay of Plenty, and although the conversion was missed, it gave the Scots a healthy-looking 15-5 lead. With Jeff Cross sent to the sin bin, Bigger kept Ospreys in touch with a 30th minute penalty to bring it back to 15-8. But despite being temporarily down to 14, Edinburgh kept their foot on the gas and Hart got over for his second try of the match in the 34th minute. The Ospreys defence caught napping by the number nine who once again demonstrated superb enterprise for this score. This time, Bezadenhout converted to make it 22-8. Just before the break, Bigger slotted another penalty over to bring it to 22-11 as the half-time whistle approached. Into the second half, it was the visitors who chipped away at the lead. Bigger landing two more penalties, this one bringing it back to 22-17. Zayden Holt gave the home side a little breathing space with a 58th minute penalty for 25-17. But Ospreys didn't lie down and in the 61st minute they got in for a top class opportunist score. Hassler getting the try after a neat grubber kick by Sam Davies. The TMO was called to confirm that Hassler had got the touchdown. And the man in the van deemed that the winger had indeed got downward pressure on the ball and the try was awarded. Bigger missed the conversion attempt, but it was back to 25-22. Ten minutes from time, Bezaden Hote, who had a good night with the boot, landed another penalty from 48 metres to leave it 28 points to 22 in what was proving to be a very entertaining game for the sold-out crowd at Megatland. The South African kicked a 77th minute penalty for an 8 point lead, 31 points to 22. However, Bigger rescued a losing bonus for Ospreys with a late penalty of his own at the other end. So Edinburgh will have fond memories of Megatland ending a three game losing sequence with a fine win over an Osprey side who were having a wobble at the wrong time of the season. Final score, Edinburgh 31, Ospreys 25.